This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash Mr. Mobile. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman, and you are watching Mr. Mobile on Butterscotch.com. Today we are here to debunk the myth that Android games suck. Now, I apologize to any Android developers out there who are building games. Yes, I know you guys are trying really hard, but I have to say that so far, there hasn't been much in the marketplace that's been really exciting, and certainly nothing that challenges the iPhone as the mobile phone gaming platform of choice. Well, all of that is about to change. We are looking at a game today called Exus. You'll find it in the marketplace, and it's actually built on the Android native development kit rather than built in Java as a lot of the older applications were. So that gives it really fast speed, hardware acceleration, all that kind of great stuff. It's got a custom sound driver that they built for it, so rich 16-bit sound, great uh, soundtrack as you're playing, lots of great sound effects. Now, the, obviously, the requirement here is a newer Android phone, so this will work on a Droid or a Milestone, depending on where you are in the world. It'll work on a Google Nexus One and anything newer that comes out after that. Now, uh, the first time you install it uh, or you purchase it out of the store, you'll find that the first time you run it, it downloads a big additional package, which is sort of all of the graphics and that kind of stuff. Make sure that you're on Wi-Fi when you do that rather than on your data connection because you're going to chew up some big time megabytes when you do it, but uh, it is worth it because the game looks and sounds fantastic. It's your sort of typical mech warrior Japanese style game. So you get to control a giant robot and fly around and shoot a lot of stuff. And uh, you get to pick from one of three robots that are in the game. Um, your mission, although it's kind of irrelevant because really you're just flying around and shooting stuff, is to reclaim the Earth's surface from some aliens who have invaded. And uh, that is actually a lot of fun. Control is accelerometer based, so you move the phone around to control where your robot is flying on the screen. And uh, then you have some on screen thumb pads that let you shoot and pick your boosters, so shoot with your right thumb, pick your boosters or weapons with your left thumb. One note about that, I did find at first that the accelerometer control was a little unintuitive in terms of the up and down motion. You actually have to f hold the phone quite upright, so if you're holding it more flatter, it's a little bit harder to control the up and down motion on the screen, but if you're holding it in a bit more of an upright mode sort of facing you, then it's a little bit easier to control where you're flying up and down. There's an online network built in here for high scores to let you see how you're doing compared to all of your friends and that kind of stuff. The game is $3.99 in the Android marketplace, although you'll discover when you go in there that it's actually listed in Japanese yen, so you may want to compare that to your local currency before you purchase. By the way, if you're looking for your own domain name, our friends at Hover would like you to know that the easiest way to register your own domain and do more with it is to visit Hover.com and you will get 10% off your purchase using the code that you can see on screen or in the show notes courtesy of Mr. Mobile. I'm Jay Goldman. This has been Mr. Mobile on Butterscotch.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash Mr. Mobile.